Good morning, South Florida. It was a week of turmoil for the Miami Hurricanes, and if there was ever a time for a win, this was it. Let's get right to it. Last night, Larry Scott, in his first game as interim head coach, saw maybe one of the craziest finishes in college football. Miami was down three with just six seconds to play, and weird things happen on Halloween, don't they? How about eight laterals weird? How about 70 yards in 45 seconds weird? Just watch back and forth. They had all night on this play doing whatever they could and everything they could just to keep it alive. Again, down 27 24. Remember that with six seconds to go. Here we go. Corn Elder tosses it back. He's going to receive that ball just one more time, and that would be it. Check out the blockers he has. He breaks free. This play was under review. There were penalties, but the refs came back, said they picked up the flags. After discussing it, the Canes win an incredible finish, 30 to 27, the final. All right, Seminoles hosting Syracuse. Sean McGuire in for the injured Everett Golston. He hits Travis Rudolph, who straight up bullies the Q secondary. Rudolph, five catches today. Three of them go for touchdowns. Get off me. Starting running back Dalvin Cook was also out yesterday. Freshman Jacquez Patrick fills in nicely. 162 yards on the ground. He, too, found pay dirt three times. And the Florida State backups pick on the orange 45 to 21. Now, just across I-10, Florida and Georgia doing battle in Jacksonville. Check out the former Booker T. Washington Tornadoes hooking up for the biggest touchdown of the day. Treon Harris to Anthony Callaway, a 66-yard strike. Florida rolls 27-3. The Gators are a win away from clinching a spot in the SEC championship game. That's going to do it for sports. I'm Mike Cunio for CBS4 this morning.